okay. So hopefully I have some sound. I'm trying to be quiet at the moment. And uh, what I'm doing is I've launched the canoe at Lake Selfie, which is not too far from Lake College where I've been before. So I'm just going to turn the canoe around. Now I've got this quite silent, so there's a wind coming down the lake to the shore where I launched. So now what I'm going to do is put a little bit of effort in and get out on the lake. And it's dead calm, 22 degrees and the wind is Recorded to be zero, so zero to one knot, I would assume, and I would say it'd be halfway to one knot. So, two and a quarter hour drive from Christchurch, um, but I came the long way round, so it's normally only an hour and 45 minutes, and uh, well, I came via the back roads. A more scenic drive and then the last two kilometers is gravel road up and down hills so everything in the car and the trailer and the canoe is covered in dust but it turns out to be pretty good so i've got a plastic box in the middle of the canoe which i sit on usually and uh, my GoPro is on the GoPro extension arm, that's the version 2, and I've got the Rode lavalier mic plugged into the adapter. Uh, really annoys me having that adapter while they couldn't put the sound chip into the GoPro and dispensed with half of the electronics they've got in that sound thing that's unnecessary from a user's point of view. Just going down the middle of the lake, get an idea for the wind and the size of the lake. And then we drift back down the side. So the good thing about it is I only have to use one paddle, and so I'm using the old traditional paddle uh, rather than my kayak paddle. And I can get a fairly good speed, and I only need to paddle on one side, and I can just use the back of the canoe and the paddle as a rudder. So that's why you see it swinging back and forth. So it swings to the left on the power stroke and then I'm doing a, like, a little bit of a J stroke, half a J stroke. And just lifting the uh, paddle out of the water as it comes. Level with the back of the canoe. If I do a half stroke instead of a full length stroke, 
I don't go as fast, but then I don't need to spend too much time steering the canoe. Like that. A lot of four wheel drives come down here, they're going down to Lake College. This will be a prime fishing day. Right, so I'm going to switch off now and I'm going to put some stuff on the end of my uh, fishing rod. The wind's come up and it's blowing me down the lake, so I don't know if you can see how fast I'm moving there. But it's a fair old pace, and because uh, I'm sitting in the back of the canoe, uh, that's my box, by the way. That's that's the fishing fishing rod, and uh, so that's my view. There's mountains with the snow on the end, and there's a really good climbing peak by the looks of it. And uh, another one. So the uh, Tiara Lower trail <coughs> comes down through this valley people walk on the uh, gravel road which is over there you can see some cars hopefully in the distance I think here one come through um, there's another paddler over there and uh, having fun So there's a bit of calm just down the end there and uh, over to there on the left there's a car parked up so I'm wondering if there's another car park there that you can get into the bottom end of the lake. Uh, I'm kind of keen to explore the boundaries um, so if I come here again uh, and it's windier I can uh, work out where I can beach the canoe I can't paddle up wind and uh, also scouting out good fishing spots. I do have my fishing rod in the water today but um, I'm just uh, exploring more than fishing so uh, it's trout in here so I think the limit is it's brown trout I think. Not sure I'll have to double check that. Yeah, and I think the limit is two fish. There are, I think there could be salmon in here as well. Uh, I know Lake Coleridge has Chinook salmon, but that's not what I'm fishing for. Uh, this year there's a different endorsement on salmon uh, for river, because they come up the rivers, and uh, I don't have one. So the oh, so although it's a free endorsement by the sound of it on top of the fishing license, so but I just didn't bother getting one. And uh, so it's trout at the moment, and we'll see how it goes. All right. So what I've done is just beach the canoe here, and. Uh, Time for a cup of coffee and sandwich, bacon sandwich on the stove. And this is the far end of the lake, so I've just got to go round and then up the other side. And um, I've been using a little fake minnow fish, forgotten the name of it. And uh, dragging that along behind me, and you can see how deep the water gets at this end. Uh, it's fairly deep, but I've been going along probably about 10, 15 feet out, a couple of metres out of the uh, shoreline. Um, just along, there's a little ledge that goes around. So I've just been dragging around there. But I will make a couple of runs across the lake. And then what I want to do on the far side under the trees is just try some fly fishing uh, with my little rod. Right. So a uh, cup of coffee and bacon sandwich over and done with, just finishing off the coffee. And you can see my day pack there, um, stove on the end, possibles and medical kit. And then I've got my little trolley in the front of the uh, canoe. When I get it out of the water at the other end, there's a bit of gravel to go over. Probably easier to drag it. Uh, 
the trolley's got on stable surface but I haven't kind of mastered how to get it on the canoe with rocky soft ground um, so we'll just go for a walk around the corner and see what's there the other end of the lake where I came from and uh, it's uh, quarter past two in the afternoon put the boat in the water at about 12 o'clock quarter past 12 so I haven't been out too long plenty of time left another two or three hours before I have to pack up so I'm in no hurry to do anything <coughs> 